Today is an unofficial holiday in northern Michigan, opening day of firearm deer season, and that inspired today's tough job in northern Michigan. Now we do want to start by letting you know some of what you are about to see is graphic. I am processing a deer from start to finish, which means skinning and cleaning it before turning it into what you eat. For some, this is a common job that you might be doing this weekend and others will leave it to the experts. For this tough job in northern Michigan, I head to Ebel's General Store to do something I never thought I would do. All right, Whitney, we're going to get you get re geared up and we're going to do some deer skinning. It's not your typical work uniform. And why do we need a hard hat for this? Well, you're, you've got metal hooks that you put onto the deer's leg, put them up on the meat rail for safety. With a coat, plastic apron, somewhere to hold some knives. It goes around your waist okay. so that when, you, when you're not using your knife, you got a place to put it and it's a safe place. And some gloves. <laughs> there you go, put that on it. All right, away we go. First stop, the skinning bed. You can find a spot in the neck and that bone will just rotate and you can take the head right off of it, just like that. Removing each piece one by one. Here's the leg bone, you can feel the bone underneath and you just come right down like this. And there you go. Is this right? Oh. Yeah, you're, you're fine. Why is yours bloody? This is bloody because that's probably where that animal got shot. Mm. And then it hit a vein. But this right here, if you do it right, and you come underneath it, and you take your hand, I think you can crack it right off. This hand like this, this hand like this. Okay. Underneath, okay? This one like that. Now we're just gonna, we're gonna have to grip it. Well, this one's ready to go on the rack. Up you go. I'll tell you when to stop. What do you think, Rodney? Whitney's really not saying too much yet, is she? Once the deer is skinned, it's time to clean it up. That hair, you can wash it off, you can burn it off, but the best way i found is to just trim it off. Then separate the meats. All right, let's take these over here and work on this. From steaks and tenderloins. That a girl, cut right through that. I think we're gonna make a meat cutter out of this lady. To sausage and jerky. This is venison and pork put together. And this is what we're gonna make some venison summer sausage of. We got it perfect. Cool. Right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Once everything is cut, seasoned, mixed, and smoked or cooked, it's time for the final job of the day. Well, Whitney, all our hard work, we had to show you where it wound up. The taste test. When you shoot that big buck, Whitney, then this is how it'll come back to you. Okay. All packaged like that. What'd you hire? I always say this, it's your attitude, not your aptitude, which is what you know, that determines your altitude. This gal's got good attitude, yes, I'd hire her. For Tough Jobs, I'm Whitney Amen.